Honey, a golden, sticky, delicious gift from nature. We drizzle it on pancakes, stir it into tea, and use it in everything from desserts to medicine. But have you ever wondered how it's made? No, it doesn't come straight from a jar. It takes thousands of tiny winged workers, a whole lot of teamwork, and some mind-blowing science to turn simple flower nectar into the honey we love. So, let's step inside the world of bees, where every drop of honey has a fascinating story to tell. Meet our hero, a worker bee, buzzing through fields of flowers on a mission. Her job, to find the sweetest nectar and bring it back to the hive. But bees don't just fly around randomly hoping for the best. Oh no, these tiny creatures are expert navigators. They use their incredible vision to spot ultraviolet patterns on flowers, markings invisible to humans that guide them straight to the nectar. Once she finds the perfect flower, she extends her proboscis, a straw-like tongue, and sips up the sugary nectar, storing it in a special part of her body called the honey stomach. And here's a fun fact. She can carry almost half her own body weight in nectar before heading back home. Now, back at the hive, things get, well, a little dancy. To tell her fellow bees where to find the best nectar, our forager bee starts performing a special move, the waggle dance. Yes, bees dance to communicate. By wiggling her body in specific patterns, she gives directions, how far, which way, and even how good the nectar is. The longer the dance, the farther away the flowers are. Watch closely, then take off to gather more nectar. But collecting nectar is just the first step in the honey-making process. Now, it's time for some bee chemistry. Inside the hive, worker bees begin transforming the nectar into honey. But how do they do it? First, they pass the nectar mouth to mouth, mixing it with enzymes from their saliva. These special enzymes break down complex sugars into simpler ones, making it easier to store and digest. But there's still a problem. The nectar is too watery. If left like this, it would spoil. So the bees get creative. They spread the nectar into the honeycomb and start fanning their wings like tiny air conditioners. This evaporates the water, thickening the nectar into rich golden honey. When it reaches just the right consistency, they seal each honeycomb cell with a layer of wax, locking in the sweetness for months or even years. So why do bees go through all this trouble? Simple, honey is their food. During spring and summer, bees work around the clock to produce enough honey to keep the hive alive through winter. Since flowers don't bloom in the cold months, they rely on stored honey for energy when there's no fresh nectar available. And here's something incredible, honey never spoils. Jars of honey found in ancient Egyptian tombs are still perfectly edible after thousands of years. That's nature's perfect food. But bees don't just make honey, they help feed the world. As they visit flowers, they pick up pollen and carry it to other plants. This process, called pollination, helps plants grow fruits, vegetables, and nuts. In fact, about one-third of the food we eat depends on pollinators like bees. Without them, we'd lose apples, almonds, coffee, and even chocolate. Yes, that's right. No bees, no chocolate. But here's the problem. Bee populations are declining due to habitat loss, pesticides, and climate change. And that's bad news for all of us. The good news? We can help. Planting bee-friendly flowers, avoiding harmful chemicals, and supporting local beekeepers are simple ways to protect these tiny heroes. So, the next time you enjoy a spoonful of honey, remember the incredible journey behind it. From a single flower to a buzzing hive, Every drop is the result of thousands of tiny workers dancing, fanning, and sealing their golden treasure. Honey isn't just food, it's nature's masterpiece. And bees? They're the tiny, tireless artists behind it all. So, let's do our part to protect them. Because when bees thrive, the world thrives. Thanks for buzzing along with us today. Keep learning, keep exploring, and most importantly, protect the bees.